Hi, it's Hotkey, and welcome to this screencast looking at a new component which is going to be a thumbnail menu with categories. Now, this component uses the new um, uh, cloners that we have in uh, version 6 beta 5. These are nested um, cloners. Now, I'm not going to go into any great detail into these. That is going to be a video that follows this. This video is purely to how to start using and to configure the new menu. Okay, now to use the new menu, um, the prerequisite needs to be that you need a pro project with tags. So if we go to user data, you'll see that we've got ground floor tags on these panels and first floor tags on these. Okay, so I'm going to go to the skin, go to the component toolbox, and we're going to search for the component. So I'm just going to use uh, tags and thumbnail because it's a thumbnail menu with categories. And when I select this, you can see we've got some text here. I can now right button click and insert component into skin or double click to add it. Okay. Now the component comes configured to show all thumbnails. So we're going to leave that like that. So I'm going to save and publish. And let's just see what we end up with. There's our hamburger icon. When we click the menu, you'll see that it opens. I click it again, it closes. But when I click it, you'll see that we've got the category all and it's telling me that there is 10 panoramas. When I click that, indeed, I see 10 panos. Because they go off the bottom of the screen, I get a slider. And of course, that means it's, it's responsive and whatnot. Okay, cool. So that's that, but I wanna add categories. I wanna add first floor and second floor as my categories. How do I do it? Right, well, what you do is you go to the skin configuration button. If you click this, you'll see that we've now got the menu table. All right, or menu tables. So. I can add my tags and title them here. So let's add my ground floor tag and let's circle that ground floor. And then I'm going to add the first floor tag and give that a title. First floor. Okay. Create the output and what we should have now is the two categories. So ground floor, it's telling me that um, the, uh, there's four panels that make up the ground floor. When I click on that, I do get that. To get back, what you do is you click the hamburger icon again, or the menu icon, and then I can then select the six. Again, I've got my scroller showing um, on the first floor. Okay, the other thing the menu will do is if I'm on the first floor, you can see that the active panel is got a bright white or a white border, um, unvisited, uh, panos have a black border. If I move to the kitchen, you'll see that the hallway now goes to a light gray. So that's its visited state. Black is, we've not seen that yet, and white is the active. So let's go back to the hall. The other thing the menu will do is, if I click the landing, the thumbnails change to the first floor. So the, mo the menu follows me. Okay, if you wanted to add more panoramas to this, you can do so if I just add a second floor bunch of panos you'll see that I've added them it's got the uh, a new tag of second floor if I wanted to configure the menu to handle these I just double click add second as the tag and then second floor as the title click OK and publish and indeed I have now got a menu with three categories. This time around it's telling me that the second floor has got four panels. There you go. Right, now obviously this is all done by a lot of uh, new magic in the skin. We've got new placeholders and everything else. There will be a video following this um, showing you how to use all of the new cool features within the skin editor for beta 5. But until then, thanks for watching.